We start off with the latest from the United States, which has set up a temporary processing center for migrants in Texas as the House of Representatives prepares to vote on two bills which will provide citizenship to millions living illegally in America. The Texas center will house unaccompanied migrant children arriving at the border. Earlier, the children were immediately deported instead of being housed at shelter homes. The administration, led by the president, has also deployed the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, to help tackle the growing migrant crisis. The disaster management agency is known to provide shelters to people who have been left homeless. The move comes as the Biden administration promised to take a more humane approach to the migrant crisis as compared to the prior Trump administration. In fact, the Democrat-controlled House will be voting on two bills which could, could, could grant citizenship to young illegal immigrants in the U.S. called the Dreamers. But the Republicans have slammed this move, saying that Biden's policy will only increase illegal immigration in the United States. I'm here because I heard of the crisis. It's more than a crisis. This is a human heartbreak. The sad part about all of this, it didn't have to happen. This crisis is created by the presidential policies of this new administration. There's no other way to claim it than a Biden border crisis. Meanwhile, Mexico has stepped up immigration raids, hauling hundreds of people off trains in recent weeks to stem an increase in Central American migrants heading to the United States. Migrants travel through Central America to reach Mexico, which borders the U.S. You have to go around every town, walk through the bush, around the mountain. Otherwise, you'll either run into immigration or you'll run into thugs. And if you don't have money to pay, they take your clothes and leave you barefoot. Joining us on the broadcast is our correspondent Susan Tehrani from New York. Uh, Susan, uh, tell us more about how big a challenge the migrant issue really is turning out to be for the Joe Biden administration. And uh, do they have a roadmap to deal with it? This is a humanitarian crisis at the border. And until the Biden administration decides to acknowledge that this is a catastrophe and a crisis and not a quote unquote challenge, uh, this situation is going to continue considering the fact that numerous uh, border patrols have come on record and said we need a coherent policy to know what to do with the influx of migrants coming into the country. And I think where the United States stands right now is from the previous administration and some of its officials who were uh, hawkish on immigration really having this no one come to the United States from the border uh, policy on the one hand and then you have the Biden administration uh, basically uh, saying that you know all are welcome uh, but then when asked you know how are you going to deal with it then they come out and say well uh, you are welcome but uh, just don't come right now until we figure out what we're doing. And so the rhetoric and the messaging uh, to these vulnerable population of migrants coming here is somewhat uh, telling that you are allowed in the country and um, we'll take care of you if you come. And now you have this crisis at hand. Uh, the Biden administration is handling it by sending FEMA, as you mentioned. FEMA is usually sent to deal with unpredicted calamities like hurricanes and other natural disasters. This is a man-made crisis right now. And one of the reasons we're here uh, at this point right now is because under the Trump administration, there was a migrant protection protocol where asylum seekers would essentially stay in Mexico uh, and then uh, have their cases reviewed. So um, in so what, would, what happened in 2019, which once again was the overcrowding of the border, doesn't happen. So that policy has been uh, diminished by the Biden administration. Also, because of COVID, the CDC had guidelines that said that migrants should be expelled from non-contagious countries at this point because we cannot test them coming into communities. What the Biden administration did, it said that, okay, some migrants that is uh, an asylum seekers, illegal uh, migrants, that can happen to. However, we're excluding children. And what right. happened is a lot of these minors come because the border control can't deal with them.
uh, then they come with their parents and they're, you know, sent in to communities. And, uh, and that's the situation we are right now. The bill that you mentioned is going to face strong opposition from both sides of the aisle right now because Democrats and Republicans both agree that what is happening at the border is now not only a humanitarian crisis, but also a national security crisis. Officials have come out and said that we are not only seeing migrants from uh, South America and Latin America coming into the United States, but many uh, are coming illegally from regions like Pakistan and other places, and we cannot vet them properly. This is a national security issue as well. Yes. Uh, Biden is in a corner. He has to acknowledge this, and uh, we'll see how he moves forward. Yeah. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.